Common power steering problem in Audi Q5 S and how to fix it yourself. Are you having an Audi steering system fault and you are wondering if you can continue driving? Well, with an Audi steering system fault, you can continue driving but not for long distances. In this post, we will look at common power steering problems in Audi Q5 S and how to fix it yourself. So right now, I've got this 2013 Audi Q5 that I'm tackling which I will be using to demonstrate in this guide. But first, when having an Audi steering system fault, can you continue driving? You can still drive if the steering system of your Audi is experiencing issues, though it is generally advised against continuing to drive the vehicle. A car steering system's faults compromise your control of the vehicle and may put you, other drivers and passengers in danger if it is not working properly. An issue with Audi's power steering system may range from minor glitches that require a system reset to more serious mechanical problems, like power steering failure. However, the severity of an issue varies considerably, depending on its source. Your car might still be drivable to bring you safely to a safe destination or service center, but do so with extreme care for only short distances. In worst case scenario where power steering completely fails outright, it would become very hard to steer at lower speeds than before. Therefore, if a problem with the steering system is identified, it's highly advised that as soon as it's safe to do so, you stop driving your vehicle immediately and arrange to have it inspected by an expert mechanic to protect both yourself and other road users and reduce further damages to the car itself. Identifying Audi Power Steering Issue or Problem for 2013 Audi Q5 Power steering feelings off is something commonly dealt with by most drivers, especially when it comes to Audi Q5S, A4S, and S4S. So here's the thing. When you're driving straight and everything's smooth sailing, the problems usually surface when the steering wheel is at its original center position and all is fine. But when turning at any particular angle, resistance increases drastically and eases only to then become difficult again, resulting in binding sensations. Audi Common Power Steering Problems Audi Q5S Power Steering Problem or Issue is often as a result of connecting an intermediate or lower steering shaft to the rack, with its U-joint at its base being exposed to elements and eventually becoming compromised, leading to corrosion or wear over time. Bust here are also additional power steering issues, causes that I've observed with Audi Q5 models since over the yes. 1. Power steering leak. When power steering fluid leaks due to cracks or loose connections in its lines, signs may include difficulty steering your car and an audible whining or squealing noise when turning the steering wheel. 2. Faulty power steering pump. If the steering pump fails, this could result in hard steering that often comes accompanied by an audible whine or buzz. 3. Blown out steering rack. Damage to the steering rack can have more severe implications, leading to limited steering wheel responses or even the car veering erratically in one or both directions. 4. Electric power steering failure. Some Audi Q5 models feature electric power steering systems. When there are electrical issues within these systems, Sudden loss of steering assist could occur, and an alert message would display on your driver information system if this were to occur. Replacement can be quite a costly endeavor due to high labor time costs. Thus, it might be wise to do it yourself as the process should not be complex. I will walk through this step by step. Start by making sure the key is out and your steering locked to prevent damage to the clock spring when the wheel spins. Underneath your footwell, locate and disconnect the pinch bolt. Be wary that someone might have attempted to fix this U-joint by spraying penetrating oil onto it. However, as this end often has clean conditions, it usually remains undamaged. Once loosened, push off of the steering shaft easily with fingers or push rod and lift the car so as to access the remaining part of the steering shaft. Remove this pinch bolt as well. This U-joint often seizes up due to exposure. After dismantling, it will likely reveal that the U-joint moves freely in one direction while being tightly bound up on another axis, necessitating considerable effort on your part to pivot on that pin and get back together again. Overall, this process should be straightforward and will have no lasting ramifications on your vehicle's alignment. Each replacement part can only be installed one way, 
making installation virtually unfussy. In fact, steering shafts come equipped with notches that fit securely into bolts to help avoid incorrect rotation of their rotation shafts.